Hey dreamers and welcome to her apartment. This is another horror game from itch where our elderly neighbor asks us to watch over her place after she's gone for a week. Let's jump right in. We got the intro here. Are you ready for the best prices? Let's go. When you order this mower within one minute, you will get one minute for absolutely free. Oh, this offer is only for a limited time. Don't hesitate to call now. Not a bad deal. Three lawnmowers. Sell the other two. Only pay shipping and handling. Hello. Yes. Who's calling? Where's my phone? Where's the other room? Yes. I'm coming. Yes. Hello. Hey, Ray. It's oh, Oops. hello, Mrs. Olson. Of course, I'd be happy to help. When I get home from work in the evenings, I can take care of everything you need. Great, thank you. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Won't you come over to my apartment now so I can show you what you'll need to do? I'll be there in a minute. Mrs. Olson lives in apartment number two. She's the best neighbor a person could ask for. I'm glad she trusts me with her apartment. Oh, is she gonna pay you though? Like, I can't be over there for a whole week. Wait, there was something red. Fridge. Wow! I was a little, a little bit hungry. I had a snack. All right. I guess we just uh, be on our way to her place. Kind of want to. Oh, apartment number two. Uh, I see. It's a set of stairs. Gotcha, gotcha. This nice little place seems really cozy, actually. So number two would be two floors down, I suppose. Do not knock. Ring. You don't have a doorbell, sir. Is Olsen? Hey, old man, uh, lady. Uh, I almost misgendered you there. I apologize. Ma'am, why is there a plate on the ground? You got a cat? Wow, looking good, Ray. Look at her face. You're a charming man. Thank you, Mrs. Olson. What should I do first? At the end of the hall is a door to my junk room. In that room, there's a watering can. Please bring it here. No problem, Mrs. Olson. Anything for you, my beautiful lady. Here in the living room are the first two plants. Okay. Here I go. Oh, it's mashing. Oh. You like that when I make your plant wet? I'll do it again. Yeah. These two plants are in the bedroom. Ooh. I'll wait for you here. It does have a cat. Wait. You're waiting me in the bed. Wait. Huh? He's waiting for me in the bedroom. This is awesome. I didn't come here for that. Kind of weird, not gonna lie. Why do you even need my help for this? You can clearly walk around. Oh. We're gonna go feed the cat now. Where'd she go? Mrs. Olsen? Oh. I usually feed Kitty half a can in the morning and evening. Since you're coming only in the evening, just give her a whole can then. The cans are in the kitchen. No problem. Wow, this is so informative. I just stole your bananas. Can I eat all her food? Oh, I'm still a little bit hungry though. I got your can. Here you go. Go cat. Yes! Kitty! No need to get the mail today. I already did it. Here are my apartment and mailbox keys. Thank plus you. Plus $50. Appreciate your help. 50 bucks. Thanks I guess it's probably gonna come I'll down make sure once. everything's taken care of. Just in case. I'll write all the tasks down and leave the note here somewhere if you need anything. Thanks. Feel free to call me anytime. See you next week. No problem, Take Ms. Care Olsen. Good night. Go back to my apartment and go to sleep. She scared me. I didn't think she'd still be standing there. I'm gonna be honest. All right, just close the door. Pretend like that never happened. That cat is not gonna get fed. I'm just kidding. That's the first thing I'm gonna do, actually, if I, if I can, because I love cats. Sleep time. Time to get some sweet, sweet Z's. That's night one, I guess. I'm finally home from work. First, I'll pick up the mail for Mrs. Olsen and me. Where is the mailbox? Probably right here. This is an apartment complex after all. Benton is my name. 
Fear in town. Authorities search for escaped psychiatric patient. The escape. In a chilling turn of events, the quiet town of Dwiles has been thrown into a state of shock and fear following the escape of a mentally ill man from the Dwiles Psychiatric Asylum. The man, identified as 65-year-old Mason Harold Whitmore, evaded the institution's security in what authorities are calling an unprecedented breach. The community is on high alert. We are doing everything in our power to locate and safely apprehend Mr. Whitmore, said Police Chief Margaret Ellis in a press conference held earlier today. We ask the community to stay calm but alert. Do not approach him. Instead, contact the authorities immediately if you see anything suspicious. Descriptions of Whitmore have been widely circulated. He's 65 years old, stands approximately 5'10", stands approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall, with a slender build, and gray hair. That's pretty wild. How does someone even escape from there? I hope they find him before things get worse. So do I. Olsen! Some letter. I'll leave it in her apartment. Yeah, don't read her mail. That's no bueno. Fine, let's water her plants and feed her cat. So that, like, escape guys, that's not gonna... Not gonna hurt me, is it? Wait. Oh. Water the plants, feed kitty. Thank you again. Look at her writing. That's so cute. It's ugly. It makes me very f laugh. Yeah. Water the plants first, I guess. I said I was gonna do the cat first, but the water can was calling my name. It was like, oh, dreamy. And I had to do it. I had to do it. Why is the cat's not meowing at the top of her lungs right now to get some food? Must not be a real cat. Here we go. Plan number three. Plan number four. I hope, sure hope a serial killer doesn't sneak up behind me. Good. Time to feed kitty. Yes. Any, uh, I ate all your food still. Meow. Can I pet you? Mm. Done it for the day. Now I can go to my apartment and get some sleep. Voila. Bye, kitty. I think I forgot to turn off the lights. Oh, really? Oh, wow, that's actually kind of smart. <laughs> I didn't even think that would be a game mechanic. Wow. Heck yeah. That should be it. That should be it. Number four. Sleep time. Oops, that's the bathroom. I'm not going to be sleeping in there, I don't think. Unless I sleep on the laundry machine while planking. That's a possibility. That's my dog. Another day, another mail collection. Let's do it. Mail, 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 mail. Oh, nothing for me. Something for her, though. We got... Do not bend. Some kind of, like, diploma? Uh, seriously? And it's bent. Oh, I'll leave the letter at her apartment. Oh. Okay, let's go to her apartment and take care of her stuff. Oh, Mrs. Olsen, I'm back. Hold on, where's the plant? Is it somewhere else? Somebody steal her plant? Not very nice. Why would you take that? Probably the most valuable thing in here, other than, than the cat. Hello? You're starting to freak me out. I'm going to call Mrs. Olsen. Don't call her on her vacation. It's just a plant. Oh, my. Calling Mrs. Olsen. I she even has a phone. Hello? Hello? Mrs. Olsen? I've got a problem. A plant is missing. The one in the living room. Hey, Ray. Really? Everything else is fine. Just one plant disappeared. Yes, well... It's here. It <laughs> literally wasn't here a few seconds ago. I'm not crazy, am I? <laughs> Maybe you're tired. Sorry if I'm bothering you that much with my work. Oh. No, no, that's definitely from my work. I hate it there. Sorry to interrupt. I'm gonna go water them. Bye. Bye. I don't know if the male voice or my character's voice is AI or not. It seems very monotone and odd. I'm sorry, Dev, if this is your actual voice, but it seems a little weird, man. Maybe it's text, text to speech or that, or you're really good at mimicking a robot. I'm not really sure. Just water them plants like never ever happened. Mm, I'm looking for the killer. He's going to be here any second now. Kitty time. Very cute cat. Exactly. Here you go. Same bowl. There's probably going to be some residue in there. Done. I'm excited to go to bed. Me too. Let's go. Any more lights? Nope. I think that's it. Let's get out of here. Good night, kitty. I love you. I kind of want to adopt you now. Stop searching. Start leaving. Trailer for rent. $71 per night. 
That's kind of expensive, but it's a whole trailer, so I guess in today's standards, that's pretty good. Why is my light on? Turn that off. That's supposed to be on? Who turned on my lights? All right, well, this is day three now. Not bad. Time is flying by. I'm making that sweet, sweet money while I'm at work, and I'm making 50 bucks while I'm off. I'm wondering what's waiting for me in the mailbox today. What's that? Amazing interest up to 0.03% per annum for your deposits. I don't know what that is. Square 38 Bank is now serving the community. That's kind of shitty. Don't put your money there. It's only 0.03%, dude. It's not worth it. What the heck? Keep what you got. Not even worth switching. All right. Same deal. Plants are still here. That's good. Just water this bad boy. Ha! Making sure... I gotta stay on my toes, guys. So should you. It's very crucial in these parts. Hello? Who said that? I heard uh, I heard somebody blowing. Don't do that. Kitty is sure hungry. <laughs> okay. Here I come, Kitty. Don't you worry. I got your back. Oh. You must have lost your bowl somewhere. I could just get another one. There's a bunch of plates here. Just put on a plate. Oh! Kitty! What'd you do? Whatever. I hope Mrs. Olsen wouldn't be angry if I leave the food on the floor. Bro, grab a plate. Just wash it after. Oh my goodness. On the floor. Okay. The <laughs> poor cat. I'm tired. Finally, I can go to sleep. I mean, the cat doesn't care, but you gotta treat the cats like royalty, or else they're not gonna love you. <laughs> uh, let's just go to sleep. I'm not. I, I don't care. I feel kind of bad, but this also doesn't have to know. All right, day four. My debit card from Square Eight Bank arrived today. I'm very excited. Hey. Raymond Benton. I was really looking forward to this moment. My first debit card. Oh, I guess I just... Didn't expect to have a metal pipe sound, but here we are. What the heck? Kitty's bowl. How'd this end up here? Let's go ahead. Oh, what Jerry! the was that disgustingly loud sound? Jerry? Fah. Screw it. I'm drunk as a skunk anyway. Drunk as a You're skunk. You're the one who's taking care of Margaret's apartment now, aren't you? Yes, yeah. that's me. Sorry if I disturbed you. What were you doing there so late yesterday? It was three o'clock in the morning. What? By that time, I was sleeping in my bed. I wasn't in her apartment. Ooh. I saw you. I was coming back from the pub. You were waving at me from the window. Ah, uh, you were just seeing things. I was really sleeping. Drunk loser, making shit up again. And he slams the door. Damn. Who is in this women's, woman's, this is a good old lady's apartment? Plants still look okay. I found the bowl though. That's good. We got the kitty's bowl back. He doesn't have to eat off the floor this time. Did I put that there? I don't know. Sploosh. Sploosh. Two more to go. Sploosh! Sploosh! Voila! Seeing kitties the cutest part of the day! Yes! Here you go, cat! Enjoy that! Get some sleep! Oh, Kitty's the best! This game's incredible, just because of kitty. Alright, let's go to sleep. Better not be anybody in my apartment. Hello? You know, this kitchen looks really nice, actually. I like the layout. I guess there's nobody here. Let's just let's just get our Z's once again. <gasps> me 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 me. When she coming back? Seven days? Uh, oh, today's my last day. I can take care of her apartment. Oh yeah. Sudden collapse. Square Thirty Eight Bank shuts down just two days after opening. Oh no! Just two days after its much anticipated grand opening, Square Thirty Eight Bank has announced its sudden an unexpected closure sending shocks through the financial community and leaving customers scrambling to understand what went wrong the collapse unfolds reports of trouble at square 38 bank began to surface yesterday afternoon 
Customers experienced issues accessing their accounts and conducting transactions, leading to mounting anxiety. By early morning, the bank's management confirmed the worst. Bank's dismal start. Only four clients in the first two days had forced them to shut down operations immediately. The impact on customers. For the four individuals who did open accounts with Square 38, sudden closure has resulted in significant uncertainty. This is a devastating blow, said one of the affected account holders, who preferred to remain anonymous. We trusted the bank with our funds, and now we're left wondering if we'll ever get our money back. What? It took all my money? Happy Paws, Pet Club. Oh yeah. Man, that sucks. Better give me my freaking money back. How am I supposed to? I mean, I'm gonna have $50 after this. That's good, I guess. Oh man. Things couldn't be any worse right now. I guess Kitty could be gone. He's still there. Whew. So, like, we're fine, bro. Watering some plants. Nothing I can't handle. You know what? 50 bucks for this actually is actually really good. Let's go feed Kitty for the last time. Sad. Aw, oh, man. You can always come back. I'm sure Mrs. Olsen would appreciate you swinging by to feed the cat and say hi. But oh well. Done. I'm good to go. Good night, Kitty. Can I give you a kiss? Love you, bye. Ooh, let's start. Hello? Oh, I guess that's it. Wow, everything ended well. We're good, guys. No murders today. Kitty's fed, plants watered. Mrs. Olsen's having a great time at her party. I think this couldn't be any better right now. All right, Mrs. Olsen should be home by now. I'm gonna return her the keys. Should I get her mail for her? Oh, come on, man, get her mail. Hello? Mrs. Olsen! Hi, Mrs. Olsen. It's good to see you again. That's a dude! What's your emergency? <laughs> There's a foreign man in my apartment. He attacked my neighbor and now they're fighting. Oh, Mrs. Olsen's good though. It's my apartment. Mine. Get out. Everybody out. <laughs> okay. Get out. Oh, he might just have, like, dementia or something. Like, doesn't feel like a criminal to me. He's just an almost small guy. After the incident, police found two lifeless bodies. Damn, we beat each other up to the death? One of a 24-year-old man and the other of a 68... Oh, he killed her! Never mind! What a dick! Poor Mrs. Olsen. The previous owner of apartment number two, Harold Whitmore, escaped from the scene. Ah. See, it was, in fact, his apartment, technically. Police never found him. Okay, I was not expecting that at all. That's pretty good. Uh, of course, it had to be about the escaped inmate, but... Thank you for playing Her Apartment. I'm very grateful that you bought my game and thus supported the development of future ones. If you like this game, you can rate it on itch.io. You guys certainly can visit this developer's page. Link in the description to this game's page. If you want to check out more of their games and this one. But that was really good. I enjoyed it. The cat is obviously the best part of the game. Nothing beats cats. I'm sorry. But that was fun. I like feeding the cat. I like watering the plants. And there wasn't all that much tension throughout. But the ending really made up for it. And the voice acting, of course. Like I said, I don't know if it was Texas speech or not. Felt like it wasn't. Felt like it was. It was kind of in the middle. It was really weird. But I enjoyed it nonetheless. And I hope you guys did as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, why not leave a like and subscribe to the channel as we approach 600 subs. It'd be greatly appreciated, and I will see you in the next one. It's time to wake up now.